Hey there, ProFlows community. My name is Cameron, and today's quick tip, we are talking about motion blur. What do I mean when I talk about motion blur? So typically, most of you are going to know what motion blur is, but I've got two keyframes here. I've got a beginning keyframe and an ending keyframe so that our circle goes across the screen here, and it comes to an end, right? So it eases out, moves quickly here, and then comes to a rest here. And as we can see, it's just a straight-up animation. There is no motion blur applied to enable motion blur we have to click right here enable motion blur and we also have to turn motion blur on for our layer right here and the minute we do that we can see now all of a sudden we've got some interesting real world motion blur happening here so when we see objects move in the real world on film they have motion blur applied so this is with motion blur this is without now, what I want to talk to you about really quickly here is how to adjust your motion blur settings to fit whatever style that you are going for. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit Command K on a Mac, Command K, or we can go up to Composition Settings right here, bring open this window, and under Advanced, we have Motion Blur Settings right here, okay? Now, I've got mine set to 90, negative 90, 16, and 128. If you play around with these, well, specifically these two values right here, you're going to get some really interesting results. So let's change it from 90 to 180. See how much more motion blur we've got happening here. We can also change this to something like maybe, you know, I'm just going up in even numbers here. So maybe like 270 right there, even more motion blur. Now we can increase our samples per frame right here from 16 to say something like 32. Let's double them and look at that. Just really nice motion blur happening there. We can also turn it down to something really low, like maybe four. And we get this kind of like onion skin type of look happening here. So if I preview this, if I click OK and then I preview this right now, you can see here we've got a very stylized type of motion blur with only four steps happening, just like so. So Command K to open up your composition settings, go to advanced. And right here, we can change uh, our shutter angle uh, to get a different type of look. We can also play around with things like shutter phase and adaptive sample limit, but I'm focused on these two numbers right here today. Shutter angle 90, sample frames. Let's go back up to 16. And there we go, we've got a really nice, simple but effective motion blur.